I'm going to show you how to activate dev mode or developer mode in RimWorld. This is actually a lot simpler than people think. We're going to press escape on our keyboard and then we're going to go to options here. Once you're in options, in general, it's quite hard to actually see, but it's right here, development mode. If you untick this, it turns development mode off. If you tick it, it turns development mode on. That is literally as easy as it is to turn on developer mode. How do we then access the developer mode options? Well, they're up here. You can see there's open the debug log, um, open the tweak values menu. We have open the debug actions menu. And this actually lets you do a variety of different things. This is like crazy in here. Um, if you look in the top, you can see actions, tools, settings, and output. If I then go to um, output, in fact, no, actions and tools, sorry. And see the search bar up here? I could just type in spawn. And then I can go, duh, 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 duh. Um, I want to spawn, um, spawn weapon. And then you can spawn, you know, whatever weapon you want. You can finish your research. You can um, give, a, give an ability, give a trait, give a birth, give a guest, a prisoner, a slave. You can literally do anything you want. You can force a birthdays, you can spawn relics, you can um, regenerate the current map you're on, destroy all pawns, set a pawn as a ghoul, add snow, remove small. You could, you could do so many different things in here. And I really would recommend having a good look through um, to see exactly you know what it is you would like to do. But that is actually how you turn dev mode on. Another really good one here is toggling god mode. When god mode is on, you can build stuff instantly for free and sell things that aren't yours. And that is how you turn dev mode on or activate dev mode in RimWorld.